One day, my dad, or the groom, called me into the other room. He asked, Do you know why I'm happier than I was a few months ago? He had recently been talking about Annie, who had just became my stepmom. Since he was talking about Annie so much, I decided, I think you're happy because of Annie. He said, That's right. Then he gave me a big hug. After that, we met her, and I automatically knew she'd be the best stepmom ever. Look at that flower right there. It looks exactly the same as it. Isn't that weird? <gasps> it's like 46 years ago, Nana wore that one, and now I'm gonna wear that one. And they look exactly the same. Isn't that cool? What color is this? The color of your hair, yep. I can't tell a difference. I can't either. In fact, if we put it on top of your head, it would get like lost. Now, it's not surprising that we've heard the word love a lot today, and we're going to hear that word a lot today, love. We shouldn't be shocked to hear that word at a wedding. Think of all the songs that you know that have the word love as a lyric. Think of all the movies, the novels that have love and romance as a theme to it, right? It's obviously a significant part of the human experience. Marriage requires choosing the good of the other as other. It's not just about me, but it's about the other. That from this day forward, John's life will be completely and totally for the sake of Annie. And from this day forward, Annie's life will be completely and totally for John's sake. They, in the exchange of vows, give themselves completely to one another as gift. And in that giving, that loving exchange, God unites them as husband and wife. John, we had been praying for quite some time for God to bring Annie the perfect husband for her. And boy, did he. After that, we met her, and I automatically knew she'd be the best stepmom ever. I'm done. Yeah.